Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you guys what my life is like as a design engineering student at Imperial College London. Something to note here, this is not like a proper one day of what's actually going on, but it's like a combination of footages that I recorded to hopefully give you guys an idea of what my life is like. Last year I was abroad because of COVID, so this year I'm here as a second year undergrad. In this video, I'll show you guys how I start my day. Study spaces, the design engineering building, and I'll probably show you guys what the campus looks like as a whole, as well as my routine. And also, I'll show you guys how I conclude my day. Before we start, I'd like to address that this course is relatively new. It's been around for like only six years, I think. And my year is like the fifth, which have like 90 people in the cohort. And there are only two Thai people. To not waste any more time, let's get right to it. So in the morning, I would wake up around 9 to 10 a.m. and go straight to cook my meal. Most of the time, I'm too lazy, so I just microwave this ready meal and eat it during the morning lecture or tutorial, which normally lasts about two hours. Sometimes I skip because they record everything and there's no registration, but you still have to catch up. Bad example, don't do it. Before going to school, what I pack in my bag, just my Mac, my iPad. Let's see the unit. So this is Dyson Building of Design Engineering, which the James Dyson Foundation subsidized to build. Hence the course's name and the hair dryer. First thing you see on the left is Fusion Cafe. Food's not bad here, but I only eat when I'm in a hurry. I used to go to lecture hall by stairs, because healthier. <laughs> but I don't do leg days no more, so thank God they have elevator. And even better, a close button. Onto level 3, where 90% of my lectures take place. Lectures normally start at like 1 or 2 p.m. and end by 4 or 5 p.m. Someday I have only one lecture, and someday is one lecture followed by a tutorial. Sometimes I come up here to work because, what the hell not, it's spacious and there are charging ports everywhere. Down to level 2, which is like a common space where you can come to chill or work. If you bring food, you can microwave it here too. I like to come to the classroom on the right, it's called Trapezoid. I do group work here because it's quite nice and private. Next is first floor. Like every floor, you have to scan your ID to enter. When you go in, you see something like this and these weird tall couches. They're pretty nice, not gonna lie. But if you come in this room here, sometimes there is an event going on here. But if not, then I also like to use this space to work. I remember coming here for the interview two years ago as well. You may be wondering, where the hell is the workshop, right? Let me tell you that, it's not there. Instead, it's on the other side of the campus and it's called ACE. It's where you come in to do all crafting work or 3D printing. Out to the ground floor, if you walk up this beautiful exhibition road, you see this glass building. Walk through it, you go to Dalby Court, which connects to many buildings. And down to Queen's Lawn. There you see Queen's Tower, which is one of the highlights. If the weather is nice, you see people come out in the sun like this. There's also a library next to it. There are like thousands of spaces. But I'm not so keen to work there because there's so many people all the time. Next to that is Sherfield Building where people come to eat. There are several cafes and stores to buy food from. If I don't walk down to South Kensington to get food, then I normally just eat here or go back to cook dinner around like 6 or 7 p.m. After that, it's workout time. The gym is not far from the campus at all. It's just right across the road. The building is called Ethos Sports Center. You can do a lot of stuff here, but for me, I normally come to wait at 8 p.m. and then I'm done by 10 p.m., which is the closing time. Sometimes I go to Blight Music Hall to play a little music afterwards, but that's only when I'm actually free. Otherwise, I'll get changed and then walk home.
after that it's nothing much other than resting, snacking, making way, and then shower. So it's 11.30 p.m. and I'll continue working on whatever I've planned to complete for the day and then I'll go to sleep at like 1 or 2 a.m. That's not true. When it gets closer to the deadline, it goes to like 3 or 4 a.m. and I'm dead on the bed because my brain cannot function if I stay up till like morning. But yeah, every night, 1 a.m. is my ideal sleeping time. Before going to bed, I'll make like a plan for tomorrow to keep me on track. And then I'll rest my eyes away from the screen for like 15 minutes before actually going to bed because that helps me to sleep better. All right, that's it for my typical day as a design engineering student. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comment or DM me. I'll try to answer it. See you later. Good night.